Alright, hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at a air patrol mission. Uh, this is a mission that spawns in and uh, two planes fly around, um, they attack each other, uh, one loses and one falls out the sky. Um, it gives you an, um, a chance to get over there and loot the crash site. Um, I believe there is um, a couple of AIs there as well and this is all before a um, a rescue mission uh, comes in and um, tries to get the casualties from out of there. Uh, this is um, obviously all AIs, so they are all hostile. Um, yeah, let's take a look. So, you can, first thing you're going to do is go to my Dropbox and download this folder right here. It's Air Patrol folder. In that folder, you're going to have these two files here on the right hand side and uh, next thing you're going to do is head to wherever your server is installed uh, mine's in my H drive today and um, your server is going to look somewhat like this something similar um, if if as many mods if not not as many uh, the next thing you're going to do is head down to your MP missions folder I'm going to go in there you're going to unpack your trusted PBO whatever that is uh, it doesn't matter if it's diff different maps I'm going to use Chinaris today and um, doesn't matter if you're using Altus or um, Tenora uh, it's all it's all the same it's just different map uh, it's all filed the same anyway um, so yeah obviously once you've unpacked your PBO don't forget to keep an originals as well just in case um, you do fuck up or something s somewhere on the way and then you've got something to revert back to just in case um, but yeah right so I'm going to go in my uh, Chinaris Redux and uh, the first thing you're going to do is head over to the right and you are going to right right click and copy the air patrol mission uh, stick that, uh, go ahead and paste that into your uh, main route um, you can put this in a customs folder if you want to but I've put it in here for now um, I haven't actually looked in the file to see if there's anything else that prompts anything from the uh, if you were to change the position because uh, I know sometimes files do this uh, so you end up don't getting sounds and things like that but right anyway from that we are going to head into the readme and we are going to copy this line right here and we're going to put that in the init sqf uh, we're going to head down here into the init and we're going to paste it in here like I've already done um, yeah that is it so press save exit out of them two and that is pretty much it obviously you're going to go back and repack your PBO and then go ahead and start your server up right so we are going to head over here a second to the um, right hand side and we're going to take a look in the air patrol um, air patrol uh, script and here you can see there is um, times um, in which you can change so every 50 minutes uh, sorry uh, minimum distance from the center of the map so every 50 meters uh, that is the minimum distance up to 1700 meters I think I might want to change that I might change that to 6000 meters might change it. Uh, I'll leave this for you guys as well just so then if people are using Chinaris and stuff you'll have a boundary of 6,000 meters from the center of the map and yeah that should be more than enough you'll see two planes flying around and one will blow the shit out the other one um, but yeah um, you might want to change the center in as well of the map because I believe yeah this is Altus is uh, this is done for Altus so um, just Go ahead and uh, go in editor and um, drop a man in the middle of the uh, map and yeah, Bob's your uncle, you get your coordinates there, just go ahead and stick them in there. Um, but yeah, after you've done that, uh, let's have a look. Um, don't really need to change anything else there. Um, Obviously, you got your debugs and stuff. Like I say, this is like a mission thing where, um, obviously, the plane blows each other out of the sky. Uh, one goes down, the other one flies off, and um, there is some casualties there. Uh, the um, the system, the system, the way it works, it will send a medivac team to go and help the um, people that got shot down, and they are all AIs, and they're all there to kill you. So if you are there for the loot, which there is quite a bit of loot, as you can see, um, then there is going to be some hostiles there as well. Just a nice little thing to add to your server. I have see, um, I've I had it on my server. Um, I haven't yet tested it again, um, but I did have it on my server, and it it was quite good. It was really good. But yeah. 
So anyway guys, I hope you did like that. I would show you it in action, but sometimes it takes a little bit to spawn in, plus like the time, um, the, um, I don't, where is the time for it? Let's have a look. So uh, do not start for ten minutes. So yeah, so you can you can change the time as well. Um, uh, continue. Uh, start random time between naught and sixty minutes. So yeah, so anything up to an hour, it can take to um, start. So I mean, you can probably change this as well. You can customize it if you want to, but I, I think that's pretty fine for a server. You don't want it popping up every every ten minutes, you know be pretty daft but right guys so um before i start waffling on too much and i've done a 10 minute video of me just gassing um i will let you go there uh if you guys do get stuck along the way um just go ahead and um head to my youtube page and head to the discord link up here on the right hand side right next to the big fat donations button click on the link and obviously that will take you through to my discord and i will try and help you as much as i can um obviously there is various other videos in here as well just in case you do um get peckish and you want to see some Something else, or you want to add something else to the server, like radiations, um, zones outside of the world, or who knows? Who knows what else you want? Man's best friend. Um, but yeah, right, guys, I will see you guys in the next video, and yeah, have a good one.